Next up on the LSD Jam collection, we're checking out the first of the LSD Jam 2021 games that I wanted to check out for this year. This is Quantum Corrosion. The description reads as such. Welcome to the Chronover... No. This is wrong. The next chapter in the Quantum series. This game is being made for the LSD Jam 2021 and 2022, apparently as well. Hosted in HIO. Yes, they're playing ahead. The game is currently only a proof of concept for a larger horror game in the style of the Quantum series. Most, if not all, the mechanics are there that I'd hope to put in the final game. At the moment, there isn't a lot of content. Quantum Corrosion is a game based on my personal dreams. Similar to LSD Dream Emulator, Yuma Nikki, or 21 The World, is primarily a game of exploration, but there will be nightmarish situations. As with the other two Quantum games, this was made by Script Dev. This one is apparently a little bit more uh, demo phase, which is understandable, as LSD Jam 2021 actually just recently ended. That's what prompted me to make this whole series in the first place. But I suppose this one has a bit more of a dark tinge than the others. Curious that. I guess we'll see where exactly this goes then. But of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, and I'd love to make 2022 the year I do it. So, if you want to come by, whether it is to lurk or to talk, if you're adding to the view count, you are making a difference, so please consider it. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description if you feel like checking them out. But, with that being said, I suppose let's uh, escape. I, that's not a good sound, probably. There are also, there does seem to be new mechanics. I think we have a sanity meter? I guess that's what we have in the corner. Oh, that's moving. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll cross this before it moves out of the way. Alright, what, what do we got? So we're going to probably see familiar areas from Quantum Eternity and Quantum Origination here. Because I know so those two games also shared areas and concepts. Yeah, this is the uh, <laughs> Christmas tree base, as far as I'll call it. But it seems to be... Hmm. So our objective of this, I believe, is to recover a memory or something before we run out of sanity. Hmm. Well, I'm glad they have a meat processing plant here. Bears. Oh, Burb Place. Burb Egg Temple Place. It is kind of weird seeing the same areas, but like... They ain't looking so hot now. Like, where is everybody? Perhaps it would be good if I actually read the mechanical guide. Let's see what it says. 
In this game, you need to escape. Get out as quickly as you can before you lose your sanity. Sanity is shown in the bottom left corner of your screen. Try to find the lost memory before you lose your mind. I don't know what exactly that means. We're trying to find a lost memory. What does that exactly imply? Good night, Team Beerus. Is a, is a lost memory just something we can pick up, or is it an area we discover? I'm not really sure. Hmm, a blood portal. Nice. That movie platform was not actually that productive. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see what's over here then. Dreams of bad and memory lost in your own mind. Kind of feels it, yeah. I think it was a good. I think it was a good idea for me to follow up the other quantum games with this game because it kind of does flow nice that way. Oh, we return here, I suppose. Don't don't no 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 no. no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, what about this portal? Oh, this is the sheep place. Or no, this is the forest. I think. He hello? What's that over there? I'm gonna presume I shouldn't touch that. Technically, do have a death mechanic in this game, remember? That sound effect sounds very familiar. Sounds awful directional. Is something in this maze with me? Twilight Princess, right? Oh fuck, there is! Okay. Hello, Dr hello again, Dreamer. I'd recommend you don't do that again if you ever hope to wake up. If you loop too many times, you'll be stuck here forever. Good luck. <laughs> Black guy again. Yep, there is something in that maze. What do you know? So there is a neg there is a negative entity to watch out for. And again, the chasm serves as a sort of bad end location. Now we've lost one of the sanity points, so... Okay. I think I had quite the hitbox, I gotta say. Oh boy, again. Alright, let's try this again. I wanna hear it. If I could see it, I could track it. There, I, I think I see it. No, I don't see it. Does it go through walls? I can't. I honestly couldn't tell. It might. I mean, I can't really. Oh, it's you! That makes a lot of sense. We saw him in the other games. Oh, he totally goes through walls. Okay, good. That's not worrisome at all. Yeah, it makes sense it's that thing. It feels like the other games were building up to this, actually. Shit. 
Shit. Shit. Nope. Where exactly am I supposed to be going? Honestly, it's slightly, slightly stereotypical spooky design, but I still like the amorphous blobs or a spook. It, it kind of feels like every path is a dead end in this place. It really does, actually. It's a hard. Nope. Oh, am I just supposed to touch the synapse? Okay, sure. I guess the synapses are what I was after. Alright. What's in here? Ah, meat place again. Um. Meat, meat place kind of seems like a dead end. Okay, that's not good. Turns out, jumping in the green crater, not a good choice. That actually... So, okay, so we can lose our sanity beyond just the Shadow Beast creature. There are other ways we can lose it. Right. If you don't mind, I'd like to go into... This portal again. I feel like there's more paths I could take in this place. Hmm. Egg. Oh, hello. Oh, that also cost me Saturday, apparently. It seemed harmless enough after popping up, but I guess not. I have no sanity. I suppose I have one more chance, I guess, at this point. Nope. Congratulations, you got to one of the two endings of the demo. This will be the bad ending where you lose all your sanity or are trapped forever. There will be a cutscene of the full game here. That explains this proof of concept. Okay, at least this has endings. <laughs> I like the other games, which are, uh, I think, abstract enough that they don't have those. I'm not really sure, though. Also, uh, the game is just, uh, okay, I guess I'll just alt F for it. Seems to be the only way to kill it. Well, it is an ending, I suppose. Right, so now to figure out the other... The other ending, I suppose. Uh -oh. Damn it. Aragon's favorite evolution? I'm not sure. I want to ask him. I know he does like them evolutions. I feel like Leafian might be one of his favorites. Also, invisible walls exist here. Okay. I'm going to presume this just... Oh, that doesn't hurt me whatsoever. Okay, never mind. Pfft, and here I was worried about it. Okay, so how many synapses were around the maze? You know those things that I didn't realize I could touch? There was more than one, wasn't there? I probably have to go into the maze and, like, access different ones to, like, find shit that's new and that would help, help me out. Let's go over here first. This doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but it does, doesn't it? Yeah, this goes somewhere. Should I be concerned about the squishy noise? There's somebody looking at me up there. very buggy. What is that sound? It's 
squishy. What are these little things? Oh god, hello! <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess there's a bad evil bug there too. That might have been the squishy noise. <laughs> Most of them were just look at me, not really doing me harm, but guess that one ain't so friend. Let's go back there, though. Any place that has danger has the potential of giving me access to the other ending, I suppose. I assume I have to go through danger to find it. The maze area seems like a bad place to go, like, it feels like a place that you go if you make a misstep, and you just gotta get out. But the bug place, the blood place, it, the bug place seems like it might be progressive, but not like the auto insurance, you know. Okay, so what I really am noticing is that these enemies, they, they kind of just pop out. I don't expect them. So I guess, I guess I shouldn't take that path. There were other choices. I see, so those bugs up there, they're screeching at me. I suppose they're harmless enough if they're up there, though. Oh. Back there is one of them. That, that dude will try to attack me if I get over there. Yeah. Is there, any, is there anything past him, though? It looks like it's just a wall. I guess I'll even be. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Oh, this is the garden area. I can tell because of this bridge right here. Oh, we can actually go over to this gate. Where does this take us? Oh, it takes us back here. It's not very useful. At least, I don't think it's very useful. Damn. Wait, what's this do? <sighs> that didn't actually cost me a life. Thought it would. Oh cool, I can hit R to just teleport back to here. So the R, the R thing still works here, that's nice. I mean, I guess I want to go back to Bugland, and because there's still more paths I can check. I think I can, I can summarize the whole Quantum series as bumble around and help you find something. But I mean, that is kind of on brand for LSD. The game, that is. I don't know if you're taking LC if you do that too, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely still paths, like, where I got attacked by the first bug. If I could, like, lure them out of there and, like, loop around somehow, then I could probably get past that and go check out where that goes. I'm gonna assume the bugs are all gonna be in the gerbil same place each time I love the dream. So like there's that guy over there. There's one kind of just around yeah, there he is. Uh Hi, come on over. You you're not very good at pathfinding. That's actually kinda of beneficial to me. Okay, you're you are you are okay, you're pathfinding just fine right now. I don't know if they're actually faster than me, it's hard to tell. Whoa, okay. I think I'll bring him over. I think I'll leave him over here. They get really good at following you if you get close to them. Alright, uh. I think I could probably juke him over here. Come here, come, here, come over here. Alright, there you go. What are you doing? Alright. Yeah, I'm thinking I get him down here. That's right, come on. Just fall. Just fall on down. Are you just... Um, 
Well, this wasn't exactly a situation I was ready to deal with. Also, I'm, I might have actually gotten myself... Okay, this would be perfect, except for in this area I can't jump, and I just ended up on this little wall. So I'm actually kind of stuck. But this one, otherwise that worked very well. <laughs> okay, I guess they don't... Uh, since they ignore gravity, that, I'll keep that in mind. And maybe this... I don't even know how I got myself stuck in that little area. Good work, me. Um, but if I hadn't, then I would have been able to pass right by him. He did get, eventually get me. I guess he was just close enough, but... Uh, all right, that's that's doable. So I'll lure that guy out. I'll do that again, except for I won't get stuck this time. I probably just floated down the stairs in that little cordon off area, and then I got stuck. Honestly, I don't know why they, I don't know why some dreams let me jump and some dreams don't. That's kind of weird. All right, <laughs> try that again. <laughs> I seriously find every single fucking movement bug in these quantum games. <laughs> Screech. Okay, let's try this again. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got stuck on the wall for a second. Come on. They move really erratically, if you noticed. Can't completely trust if they're gonna beeline for me or not. Oh my fucking god, he's very angry. <laughs> he is angry bug, for sure. Oh yeah, I can cross over it, but I can't cross through it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead him over here. Come over here. There you go. Oh, he's floating down, but he might actually get stuck like I did. If I get lucky, anyways. Nope. Oh wow, that hitbox. Did you see that fucking hitbox? That's rude. All right, restart. <laughs> he wasn't anywhere near me. Oh well, whatever. I'll have to try a different technique. <laughs> Are you testing about I don't think so. This is why I can't just skirt by him in the hall in the hallway. His hitbox is uh it's a bit much. So, I I guess I could try leading him down the other path where the other bug was. I might be able to juke him there. Without weird floating shenanigans happening. Alternatively, I'm curious about something. Okay. That's weird. The guy showed up like I... As if I, uh... Lost sanity, but I didn't actually lose sanity doing that. All right, well, let's go. Cool. Yeah, I must. I might. I want. I definitely want to get past that bug. I mean, maybe there's nothing past him because he's guarded quite well. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bit there to fuck with you, but honestly, that path is the only one I haven't gone down, and I'd like to see what's over there. Also, welcome, Sky. Been lurking for a little bit since some of the dev servers that you were streaming. You seem pretty cool. Oh, thank you. That must have been Krizovs advertising me all shamelessly, like, thanks for that, Krizovs. But yes, welcome. Sorry I didn't comment earlier. I was like, in deep in thought, like, where should I go in this place? Okay, so I guess I guess we Yeah, I guess we I guess we get this guy's attention. Stay the fuck away from him because he has ridiculous hitbox hitbox range. Right, lay him over here. Come on. 
you, 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 you here, go around. There you go. Shit, I'm stuck. Come, come on, you can do it. Now I get stuck just trying to go through here. I don't want to. I don't. Want to, I don't want to have to lead him out, but I think I have to lead him out. Oh, come on, dude. The moment he gets unstuck, he's just gonna bolt in and get me. Oh, this is, this is unpleasant. The noise they make too, that's also unbelievable. Fucking. Alright, fine. <sighs> you know when AI is, is troublesome for me? It's when it's too stupid. If AI is super stupid, I tend to have more trouble with it. This is just actually a fact. Scott, are you part of the definitely big eight role in the Scrimmy Sun House? He's an admin. Admin. Okay, that's cool. Oh, got, okay, I got his attention. Is this the time to juke? I'm gonna try it. Ooh, nah, fuck. Alright. Ah. I was hoping that extra height he had would reduce his hitbox range a little bit. No. Almost. They have the most obnoxious movement, I guess. Oh, you know what? Actually, fuck that. I'm gonna run into the maze. There are multiple synapses in this maze, right? So, one of them probably leads to somewhere I haven't been. It's also this mysterious do not go this way thing. Which I find kind of interesting. Yeah, so this synapsis, where does this one. God, that thing is loud. Oh, this. Ah, this brings me back here. Of course, right? Why not? <laughs> Tech demo? Well, it does, it does say, yeah, I know, I noticed that too, but it didn't say it had two endings. So I'd like, I'd l I would like to figure out the non-bad ending. If I could. What I like about this enemy is that he doesn't immediately spawn. He spawns after a little bit. Like so. Where does this take me? Okay, there doesn't seem to be that many levels. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to get past the bug again, I guess. <sighs> I'm like wondering if I have enough room to dodge around him in that area. This is very, this is very, I have to big brain this. Well, it's, it's said that specifically this version has two endings, so. I will attempt to find this lost memory. I just, don't, I just don't know where it is. I'm gonna say past the bug is a fairly safe bet, though. Like, uh, if I could get, if I get the bug around and out of the way. Wait, is that just a dead end? Kind of took a sneak peek there. I'm not really sure. Oh, that was my mistake. Actually, hold on. Is this does this Nexus have more than two portals? No, only has the two. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take this portal. Just to change it up a bit. Right, so can I There might be more paths in this area I haven't actually found. Let's see. Let's consider the. Let's consider where we've been. We went through here, and that leads somewhere. And this leads to somewhere. I don't remember now. There are all these. There, oh yeah, these doors. I went into one of these, but not the other. That's the other. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this this has potential. The city, the city area. No. Or I gotta just get booted back here. That works too. Let's try that again.
good, he's still there. I don't want to know what that huge triangle head thing is. Yes, but it's a huge triangle head thing, so we'll probably find out. Okay, the other door doesn't do anything. Again, this is an area we saw in the previous game. Oh shit, that guy's- oh no! Uh, I lost. That guy had a knife and killed his friend. Nice. Alright, making a little progress here though, in the sense that I'm finding new stuff to look at. The city it looks like it has a lot going on, as far as like things to check out. I will- I will avoid the murderer next time. Oh, that's fair key. You have a good night then. Alright, um... Alright, I'm gonna take the alley again, but this time I'm not gonna run to the murderer. Instead... I'll open this door. Not get that guy's attention. Let's see what else there is in here. Toilet. Hmm, that seems problematic. Oh no, it's head. Evil head for the other two games, but he's just he's just taking a bit of a nap. It's fine. We'll let him rest, it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Retired after the other two games. Hmm. Well, it may be very scary here, but at least we saw a wacky warehouse. More eggs. Good. Oh, great. It's also a bug place. Of course it is. <laughs> Too many bug places. for egg. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna check out the apartments a bit more thoroughly. Obviously we want to avoid the murderer, but I, there's still some rooms I haven't looked at, I think. That door doesn't even open. This one, you could tell it opens with the flashes. Okay, we ignore that guy. Let's climb back up this. Climb back up this. I swear, the movement system of these quantum games, I always get stuck on everything. Wow. I don't know how they program the movement, but it's not it's my least favorite thing about the games. The amount of times I've gotten stuck on things is kind of amazing, actually. There, sheesh. Oh, can't even go any higher. I guess the apartment is done. All right then. That goes up to that. Let's 
goes nowhere. This goes some. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Transparent. Uh, a non corporeal dumpster. Good. What else can we do? Well, yeah, I can guess I can go back in here. There was another path after all. Oh, that's not a. I thought that was a platform, but it wasn't. I still got in it though. Um. Okay. Right, if I go that way, it leads back to bug area. Okay, so this is, uh... Right. Nothing good here. What else can I do? Congratulations, you got one of the two endings for the demo. This would be the good ending. I'm not set on how this is done. For the purpose of the demo, I've just made you if made it if you find one of two memory orbs from QO. Okay. Are you saying there's two I could have found? Huh. I like to play on the proof concept demo. So it was just a little scavenger hunt then. Well that's good. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, yeah, it's it's proof of concept demo, so honestly I do like how they're remixing their old areas. It is kind of like Interesting to see them in a spooky form. But, uh, yeah, tech demo of sorts, but... I definitely noticed that they did release it early for the sake of the jam. The jam obviously ended, and they needed to release something before it ended, so this is what they released. It is still a pretty good proof of concept, though. It does show how they are corrupting different areas and actually adding gameplay mechanics to provide actual, like, mechanical tension. You... Uh, you you will lose something if you get got, so you want to be careful. That is good. I'm curious what they'll, what they'll bring it. Maybe I'll check this out at a later date when it is uh, full-fledged and done. Uh, but, in any case, that was the LSD Jam 2021 version of Quantum Corrosion. Not a bad concept, and also cool to see this series continuing. I, I wonder how many games this series will actually get in it. Maybe this is the last one? I don't know. We'll see where 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 they go with this. But I do like these games. They're a bit, they can be a bit tedious at times with the whole bumbling around thing. But it does fit the LSD theme, and the dreams are still very interesting and worth finding. So, but in any case, that was Quantum Corrosion.